Hi, second graders. We are about to review things from lesson 86 for your math paper. I have your count by 12s written for you already on the whiteboard. Um, hot tip for count by 12s is think plus 10 plus two more. So 12 plus 10 would be 22 plus two more would be 24. 24 plus 10 is 34 plus two more 36 and so on. Another pattern that you might see is that you have count by ones in the tens place. One, two, three, four, but you skip five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No longer just the tens place, but also the hundreds place. Skip 11, 12, 13, 14. And then in the ones place, you have your count by twos. Zero, two, four, six, eight, zero, two, four, six, eight, zero, two, four, six, eight, zero, two, four, and so on and so on. Remember that each means multiply. Each, multiply. So when you do your story problems for number four, number four, you are gonna do multiplication problems. Don't forget to write down your label, okay? I'm gonna do this fun subtraction problem with you, scooting all the way down to the bottom of the page. This is a subtraction problem, so we ask, is the big number on top? Yes, subtract. Five, four. Is the big number on top? No, regroup. Cross off the one, leave it as a zero, put a one in front of the zero so that it becomes 10, but does that help us? No, cross off the 10, leave it as a nine, put a one in front of the zero so it becomes 10. That does help us. 10 minus one, nine. Is the big number on top? Yes, subtract nine, two. This is a zero, we don't write zeros down here in, front of, in the front of the number, so we're gonna leave that up there. The answer is 294. Okay, flipping over to the back side, your count by nines or review, if you don't have them memorized, look them up on your uh, reference sheet that's in your math packet or in your um, homework packet. You have lots of count by sheets in there. You can just copy them down. And then these are just um, review, addition, and subtraction problems, but I am gonna help you with some of these. These are find the pattern key. Okay, I'm gonna help you with this one here and this one here, because they're a little bit more tricky. The first thing you have to look at and see is, is my pattern getting bigger or is it getting smaller? 20, 40, 60, it's getting bigger. So I will write plus because it's getting bigger. And then I have to figure out what it's getting bigger by. Two, four, six. So that's a count by two pattern, but your count by twos is in the tens place. So this is actually going to be count by twenties. Another way to figure that out is if you take this big number minus this number, 40 minus 20, the answer is 20. That's what your pattern is. Or if you were to take 60 minus 40, your answer would be 20. So that's what the pattern is. But now we have to add by 20s. So just get bigger by twos and then stick a zero in the ones place. So two, four, six, two, zero, four, zero, six, zero. Then an eight with a zero is 80. Then a 10 with a zero is 100, and then 12 with a zero is 120. And that is the correct answer for, um, for this one right here. Now we're gonna scoot down and do these ones. Um, I told you before, but it was probably a long time. When you have these pattern ones and you see one where you're like, that is the most random thing I've ever seen, it's probably your count by sevens. So let's see if it is. I'm gonna start with zero. Zero, seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42. So that is your count by sevens, but it's extra tricky because it's getting smaller. So we're gonna do minus, Sevens because this pattern is getting smaller by sevens. To fill in the 
then the rest, you just do the number that comes before. So 0, 7, 14, 21, 28. So this would be 21. 0, 7, 14, 21. So this would be 14. And then 0, 7, 14. This last one will be 7. Remember for your clock problems as the minute hand moves, the hour hand moves. Hour, use the numbers. Minute, count by fives. So remember that as your, get this all set up, this is 10 o'clock. As the minute hand moves, the hour hand moves. As I move my minute hand, my hour hand also moves. So if you, I was going to try to say 930, my minute hand is all the way down here at the 30, and my hour hand is here halfway between the 9. Oh, you guys, I'm looking at it backwards. So this is actually 8.30, sorry. 8.30. If I wanted to show 9.30, it would be this way. 9, your hour hand moves as your minute hand moved. 9.30. Okay, have fun. I miss you guys.